We've probably all seen instances where one animal injures another. But in some cases, injuries are inflicted on an animal by itself. The treatment of such injuries may need to extend beyond a medical diagnosis and instead focus on environmental interventions. I will briefly discuss three categories of self-harm in animals and how they may be treated. The first type of self-injury happens because of a sensation. The animal feels a sensation at a localized point and scratches it or chews at it. It may be a rash or pruritus or an object under the skin. This diagnosis is the easiest to treat because drugs or a protective device will often be enough. The second type of self-injury occurs as a side effect of stereotypy or a heavily repeated behavior. Examples of stereotypy include horses that constantly bite the walls of their stall or dogs that run circles around furniture every day. This can lead to harm because the horse may wear out its teeth from chewing non-food items. Uh, the dog may bump its tail against the table every time that it runs, thus creating a secondary injury. Treatment may require medicine in the short term, but in the long term, the animal probably needs to be in a more enriching environment. Providing more stimulation may reduce stereotypical behavior. Finally, a third type of self-injury is the result of anxiety. Anxiety-related grooming can show itself in birds as feather picking or in cats as licking their legs until the fur is removed. But then over-grooming can become over-scratching, which can be very dangerous. Treatment for this over-grooming or scratching should include a psychological approach. The animal's history, social relationships, and general environment must be studied in order to develop a practical therapeutic approach. This list of self-harming categories is not complete, but it offers a first-step approach to diagnosis and treatment. Again, the first type is due to localized sensation on the body, the second is a side effect of stereotypy, and the third is due to anxiety-related grooming.